on YouTube. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. All right, well, here's a video topic we haven't done for a while here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Discussion time. And I thought for a Sunday morning, this would be a good video to do. Now, I know it's not really tech related, but if you work in the tech industry, you may be able to relate to this. Now, as you guys know, I have run businesses in the past. I've run a couple of small businesses of my own. I've been a sole trader, worked in a couple of franchises. I've obviously run my fam help help run, I should say, after the old lady walked out. I helped run my family's franchise with the old man. So I've been in business a few times. Obviously, at the moment, being in business is difficult for anybody. But the reason behind this discussion video is finding new employees. Now, I know at work at the moment, we're battling. And one of the drawbacks of that is having low unemployment. Now, we need to distinguish between low unemployment and underemployment. Now, I can't talk for the rest of the world, but here in Australia, generally speaking, the current unemployment rate's hovering around, I think, 3.8%, 3.9%. So less than 4% of the population are unemployed completely, not underemployed, unemployed. In other words, they're on government benefits, which I happen to know is very difficult to make ends meet, particularly with rents going up as they are. So I thought for this discussion video, if you run a business, whether you're a sole trader or a small business, whether you work in management of a business, whether you run a franchise, for this discussion video, how are you going finding new employees to fill spots? Because where I work, we're finding it harder than a brick wall. Actually, we're finding it harder than it is to get water out of a brick wall. You get the analogy. Let's discuss anything IT. Let's discuss anything AV. Let's discuss anything tech related. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's discussion time. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is discussion time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech to kick off weekend Sunday's content and I thought for a Sunday morning it's probably a good time to have a discussion video like this. I just realised what I should have said is trying to find new employees for us at work at the moment is harder than it is to it's harder than it is to pick a broken nose. Another great Australian little bit of slang there. Those of you who know a famous Australian comedian will know where I got that line from. <laughs> Alrighty, now I've run businesses, I've been a sole trader, I've been a small business person, I've obviously worked in a couple of franchises, and that's a little bit different to a normal business, but the general basis of it is exactly the same. Obviously when you know the old lady walked out on the old man, dad got me helping running our family business, which was a franchise. At the moment, here in Australia, now I can't speak for the rest of the world. All right, so we're looking at this from an Aussie point of view. Here in Australia, the unemployment rate's hovering around, I think, 3.8%, 3.9% presently. Okay, I'll get the exact um, unemployment rate and put it down there um, during editing. But for argument's sake, it's less than 4% of the population of Australia is unemployed. Now, as I said in the introduction, we need to distinguish between unemployed, so no job, and underemployed meaning they're working, but they're not getting a whole lot of cash coming in, okay? We're just talking about unemployed, completely and utterly, no job whatsoever, all right? Now, I was, I admit, and it was hard for me to find work, particularly with my problems, okay? So from that point of view, I now have a job, okay? I'm doing something I love, and that's being on the road. Now, if you run a business a small business. I know sole traders don't tend to look for extra staff, but for the purposes of this, let's just say as a sole trader, you are looking at putting someone else on to help, okay? Low unemployment means you've got a lot of people in work, and some of those people are like, well, I can't work two jobs. I know I can't do two jobs. For the hours I'm doing at the moment, I simply don't have the time in the day to do two jobs a day. That would nigh on nearly kill me anyway. The question is, how are you going finding new employees to fill whatever positions you need to fill? Because us at work, we are struggling. 
Like, I'm not kidding. Dead set in the Fed Income Department, we're battling. Now, the money's reasonably good. And the money's actually quite all right, although I've got a deal with my boss, but that's commercial in confidence. He's a small business person. I'm a small business person. I've worked in a franchise, so I get the angles. So I have a bit of an agreement with the boss, okay? But generally speaking, all right, how are you as a business owner or a manager or, or you work in, you know, be it tech, transport, whatever, how are you going finding new employees to fill spots? Now, I don't know about the rest of the country. In Melbourne, the hospitality industry is absolutely screaming for employees, can't find anyone. Now, is this a drawback of having such low unemployment? My argument would be yes. It is a drawback. There's less people in the job pool, right? So there's there's a there's a pile of jobs out there, but there's not enough people unemployed to fill those jobs. Now, here in in Melbourne and down here in Geelong, hospitality got smashed over the last two years, and my Melbourne viewers will agree with this that the government did absolutely nothing massive to help the hospo industry recover. They're still under, you know. They're screaming for more help at the moment to, to save their businesses going under. But I find it incredible that, you know, people are... That the, the unemployment rate is so low that there's just no jobs out there. Or, well, sorry, there's jobs out there, but there's not enough people to fill those jobs. At work, I'm doing about five people, four or five people's jobs at the same time. Okay, so there's a lot I'm doing and a few others because we just don't have the staff to cover all the all the stuff that we've got to do every day. Okay? If you're if you run a business, be it you're a manager of a company, or you're in management of a company, or you're a director or a supervisor of you know, an area, right? How are you going getting new employees? If you're a small business owner, how are you going finding new employees, right? In Australia at the moment, with a, with an unemployment rate of hovering around 3.8, 3.9%-ish, it's very difficult because there's not enough people in the job pool to fill all the vacancies. Now, if you're in transport and, and, and logistics, which I'm back in, I guess you could say I'm under that umbrella, we're screaming. We can't find anybody, all right? If you're in tech, how are you going finding people to work? Right, it's very difficult. You know, I mean, we we've had a couple of people come through work and fresh out of you know universities and TAFEs and all the knowledge in the world, and they're trying to take over the company within two weeks of actually getting a job. You know, people are wanting to you know they don't want to start down the bottom when they get a job; they want to go straight to the CEO position and start making calls. It doesn't work like that. You should never, you know, you, you can't just walk into a company fresh off the off the job market and go, right, well, in two weeks, I'm going to be running this joint. doesn't work like that. You've got to start at the bottom and go up, right? I'm doing five people's jobs plus what I'm supposed to do most nights, okay? And that's due to us just not having enough staff. And the same thing I'd like to know from anyone out there who owns a business manages a, a franchise or manages an office of a larger corporation or what have you, how are you going finding new staff? Aside from that, or the opposite question would be is how are you going retaining existing staff? Are you having to pay them more, less, give them more options, more terms and con more c conditions? I mean, this is the problem when you have low unemployment. There's just not enough people in the job pool to fill vacancies. Now, I don't know what the US is like. Any of my US viewers, comment. What's your, what's your national unemployment rate? Um, I'm, I haven't actually had time to catch up with my favorite US state. And if any of my American viewers live anywhere near my favorite US state, if you could remind me what the unemployment rate is there. Um, my US viewers, you guys will know which is my favorite state in the US. Um, there's just, you know, or my European viewers, my British viewers, let us know. Um, our cousins across the ditch, 
what's your unemployment rate? And this is this is I think one of the big issues is when you have when we've had such an economic hit as what we've gone through over the last couple of years and things start to return to normal, as normal as they can be, and you have low unemployment, there's and you know, you got jobs coming back, you got businesses on the recovery, and you find that there's just not enough people in the job pool. What do you do? Where where do you go? Like I'm helping my boss out as much as I can. As you guys know, I love helping people. So if I can help the boss out, I'll help the boss out. I've already helped him out a couple of times with his IT stuff. All right. How do you find when you've got you know businesses recovering, jobs are there, and no, there's no one to fill the jobs. There's no one to fill the vacancies. Right. So you you. It's like this vicious circle, you know. You have high unemployment, low jobs, and there's, 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 you know, too many chiefs and not enough Indians type scenario. But then the the, the opposite side of that is is that you've got very low unemployment and more job vacancies than there is unemployment people, unemployed people. Now, some of you out there who may be underemployed may be able to work out a way of getting working two jobs. I know I can't. Now, call me lazy for not working two, three, four, five different jobs a bloody day. If that's your if that's your theory, then frankly you can have your ego slammed so far up your backside and I'll turn you to a brick wall and make you vomit it out your mouth. Right? Some of us, yeah, sure, some of us can work two or three jobs in a twenty four hour cycle. I physically and mentally can't. Right? It's just it it's literally impossible. Now, some people can. But that's underemployment. Right? Here in Australia, underemployment is different from unemployment. They're two totally different benchmarks. Unemployment means those on government welfare entirely. Okay? I was. I know how hard it is. You know, with the rent here, with the old mate in the other half's house, thankfully I'm working. Otherwise, we'd be absolutely up SH1T Creek. So if you're a manager or you're in the executive or you run a business or a franchise or what have you, and you've got job vacancies, doesn't matter what field of work you're in, how are you going finding new employees to fill those vacancies? Like where I work, the money's actually reasonably good. Actually, actually the money's really good. Right, the working conditions are great. You know, we're all we we run a happy workplace. We're always joking and laughing, and you know, there's plenty of banter going on with with where I work. You know, and yeah, okay, when it gets busy, things get you know stressful, and you you're in and out and in and out and dealing, and you know, you you can very quickly lose your marbles. But we still try to keep a happy place. You know, have a joke, laugh, rip on each other. You know all this type of stuff. We, we have a ball. And when it gets busy, it gets busy. You deal with it. But what I don't get is, is the fact that here in Australia, with a, such a low unemployment rate, you could, you could be forgiven for saying, well, there's so many jobs out there. There's just no one unemployed. Or there's so many jobs out there, you've got a combination of low unemployment and probably somewhat underemployment but people don't want that whole working two jobs to lose their work-life balance. I mean, the other halves and minds, work-life balance just doesn't exist. She works days, I work nights. My days off don't equal her days off. You deal with it. You either put up or shut up. Right? So what I wanted to, I want in the comments section, if you're a business owner, be it a sole trader who's looking at hiring someone to help out, um, you might be operating a, an office that's under a larger company umbrella. You may be running a franchise. You might be in management of an old, um, a company or corporation. You may be a, a, a supervisor, a team, whatever. Team leader, take your pick. As we say here, pick one, you'll be right. How are you going finding new employees? And here, as I said, here in Australia, and I'll get the exact unemployment figure and put it down there, but it's about 3.8%. So the issue there is, as I said, you've got a lot of jobs out there, but not enough people to fill every single job vacancy. Okay? So let us know. 
You know the rules of the comments. I do filter a lot. Approved commenters go straight through. But are you finding it hard to find new employees? I know we are. We're, we're, we're struggling. We're in real trouble. And this is why those of us who are there at the moment, we're doing about five different people's jobs, plus what we're supposed to do. It's because we, there's things that have to be done, and if there's no one there to do them, they just don't get done. And that's not the way you run stuff. You know, you've got to fill that void. What I will say, and thankfully I'm in a situation now where I don't have to worry about this anymore, okay? I really don't, and I, I never will. I would not like to be in business today. I would not, personally, particularly here in Victoria, I don't know about the rest of the country, particularly here in Victoria with the way things are, I would not want to own a business at the moment. That's number one. Number two, I would not be wanting to try and start a business at the moment. It would be tough, really tough. In honesty, you'd want a fair bit of capital behind you to get the ball rolling. Number three, I'll never own a business ever again. I will never. And, and I, I mean, I've got a diploma of business management. I've been in business. I've run businesses. I've owned businesses. I'll be honest and say what I'm doing now actually suits me. You know, I don't have to make critical decisions anymore. I don't have to make, I have to make, you know, logistics decisions and figure out the best way I'm going to get whatever's got to be delivered, delivered. That's my decision. My boss has said, you know what you're doing, just get it done. And I do. But when you're talking about critical business decisions, critical marketing decisions, all that type of stuff, I've been there. I've done that. No, not doing it again. I will I will not own a business ever again. I know they say never say never, but I will never. And I'm putting a I'm exclamation mark full stop on that one. I'm I will never ever own a business. And ideally I would prefer not to run a business either. Right? If I have to, I will. But I would ideally prefer to just be a, well, as a holier than now know it all expert had put it, a very gutter trash simpleton employee that you can kick about the place and, you know, they have to bow down to your every want and whim. Some businesses do that. Some businesses treat their employees like gutter trash. Where I work, no. You're almost treated like a family, basically. So... I want to know from those of you in business, you run a business, you're high in management, you look after a company, you're a franchise owner, what are you? How are you going finding new employees if you're if where you live has very low unemployment? Now the government here in Australia, the federal government, touts the you know fantastic low unemployment and there's heaps of people in jobs. The problem is there's a heap of jobs out there that just can't be filled. So down into the comments section. You know the rules with the comments. My US viewers, I'll throw a call out to you. My favourite state in the US, without giving too much away, I haven't had time to catch up with the news around there. What's their unemployment rate? And generally, what's the US's national unemployment rate? My British viewers, the same. My European viewers, the same. And obviously, I have a couple of viewers over our, uh, our cousins across the Dutch. What's your unemployment rate? So let us know. Down in the, we, know, we all know the rules with the discussion and with the comments section. Approved commenters, you guys obviously go through. Moderators go through as well. Um, and if I believe you're worthy of, you know, having your comments published and you're not part of Old Mate's Backyard Tech community, I'll review the comment. But let us know how you're finding getting new employees. Stick around. Up next, 80 series time. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.